Ladies and gentlemen, the capital of imagination, it's the Rob Corley Show. Tonight, flying lessons with dragons and lingo. And now your ticket to a magical place not found on any map, it's Rob Corley. Whoa, 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 hello, hello everybody, hello, it's nice to see you as always, thank you very much, thank you, thank you everybody, thank you, thank you, welcome to the Rob Corley Show, I am Rob Corley, and in case you didn't know I was Rob Corley, well, here I am, and the name's up in the title above, so, there, that's how you know that it's the Rob Corley Show. See that title that you see at the beginning and the end of every show and in between? That's how you know that it's the Rob Corley Show. And if you still don't know after that, well then, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know how I can help you out any further than that if you still didn't get the fact that this was the Rob Corley Show right here with me, Rob Corley. See? Yeah, that's great. So, why don't we move on, all right? Okay. Um, so, as you all know that I'm not a very funny person, so I don't have any kind of cool monologue with all the different segments in between like all the other late night talk show hosts do, or all the other late night hosts, but I do have something that I would like to talk about. And what I would like to talk to you about tonight, I would like to talk or touch up on the subject of movies. Now, I've talked about movies on this show before, but um, I have just recently seen some new movies and I would like to tell you about some of them, if I may. Uh, the first one I want to tell you about is the one that I can remember most recently which and this is a new movie that just came out uh, you may have heard about it or you might have already seen this but um, they there's a new Transformers movie out it's called uh, Transformers the Dark Knight I believe that's the name of this film and um, I, I don't want to tell you too much about this movie because I, I don't I'm not the, really the spoiling type. I don't want to spoil it for anybody because, you know, people online especially, they love to give it all away. They love to give spoiler reviews and all this other stuff. And I'm just looking, when I scroll through videos, I'm like, spoilers? No, don't, don't give me the spoil. I don't want the spoil. I don't want to know what happens before I go to see it. I want to I, I don't want to decide on whether I want to see it or not based on what somebody else said. Especially if it is a spoiler. Especially if you're telling all of the good parts. That kind of ruins it for everyone who hasn't seen it. The people who have not seen it, they don't really get a chance to decide on whether they want to see it. And it, it makes it harder for them to enjoy their experience. But anyway, now what, what, back to what I was talking about. Uh, I was getting ready to talk about Transformers. Now, this movie, the only thing I can really tell you about this movie is that um, it's funny, it's entertaining, it um, has a lot of cars in it, That, and these cars, if you didn't know, these cars talk. And uh, these cars are actually robots. They can turn themselves into uh, sort of robotic type human-like things and uh, there there are two types of robots there are the evil type of robots and the uh, the good type of robots the bad robots are the Decepticons and the good robots are the Autobots so fairly enough that's that you got your two sort of colonies of robots good versus evil here and uh, I, I don't want to give too much away. I, I just, you know, I, I recently just saw that. And um, I was like, you know, I thought that 
they had finished with the Transformers movies, but I guess they thought up something else to do with these movies because these mo the Transformers movies were very popular. And uh, a guy by the name of Shia LaBeouf was in the first three, I think, but uh, he doesn't do those anymore. He's Shia LaBeouf. Shia has moved on to other things, you know, other important things in his life. I'm assuming, you know, the guy. The guy's been up and down and all around. I can't. I can't describe it, but well, hopefully he's doing all right. You know, um, on to another movie. Okay. You any of you guys like superheroes? Any of you guys like super female heroes? I. I it's, it's kind of a close type of thing to say female put a female lid on it but that's what it is uh, you know Wonder Woman I, a Wonder Woman film has come out and this has been a long time coming I, I don't really understand why it took the studios Warner Brothers so long to make a uh, a Wonder Woman live action film because people have been asking for it they've been talking about it for years and years now and now in this year, 2017, 21 7 is when this movie has come out, and I'm telling you, this movie is phenomenal. I'm telling you, I really enjoyed what I saw when I went to see it. Uh, just, you know, I think that was about a week or so ago I went to see it, and um, it has, as most superhero movies do, it has a hero, a villain. A hero that turns into a villain and um, just your average sidekick but both I'll tell you what both of these movies have both Transformers and Wonder Woman have without giving too much away they're funny they're entertaining they are persuasive they occasionally have a little bit of slow moments but all movies have that <laughs> Um, but as most movies do, and as almost every single superhero movie that comes out does, there is some kind of late romance that develops between a male character and a female character. And then, at the end of the movie, they always end up kissing, you know? They always end up doing... You know? But not like the way that I give you kisses sometimes I, well, I don't give you kisses I just do this you know and and hopefully you have been affected in a positive way by that but if you're not I, I don't know what to tell you it's it's all love it's all love folks and with that being said yeah I, I how much time I got here you know because I yeah we, we don't want to go beyond the five minute mark even though we probably might well let me get closer to this camera just to see our film guy and oh my goodness we're way over okay so we got to get this show started um, we've got uh, flying lessons with dragons and what else we got you know the game show lingo from GSN yeah we're gonna be playing that so stick around everybody we've got a great show for you tonight stay right there don't go anywhere Welcome back everybody. Right now it's time for a new segment on our show and it's called Flying Lessons with Dragons. Now you're probably wondering about the dragon part. Well our good friends from the show Dragon Tales are going to demonstrate some of the things that are required when flying. Um, you might want to fly on a dragon well you might not know how to fly on a dragon so our our friends from dragon tales have very generously agreed to show us how to some of the things that are required for flying you know in dragon world or dragon land and um 
here's our good friend Quetzal he's going to describe what is going to be happening and then from there our good buddy Ord is going to show us what exactly he would do or how to do in a situation like that so let's see Quetzal Wow, that was really great, Ord. And uh, nice instruction, Quetzal. You really know how to guide the dragons onto the right course. Anyway, we'll be right back, everybody, with more show. Welcome back. Now we're going to play Lingo. Lingo was a game show on GSN. Well, it was a game show long before it was on GSN. But um, in this game, you pretty much have to uh, sort of spell out words and you get sort of clues and hints as to where the letters in the words are and if the letter's in the right place and if you're on the right track. Well, I'll, I'll show you and uh, we'll see. Okay, let's play lingo. Okay. A word that starts with S, let's see. Stop. S-T-O-P. Let's put an S on it. Okay, the P is in the wrong place. What about spoon? S-P-O-O-N. Well, the P is in the right place now. S P. Hmm, spawn? S P A W N? A's in the wrong place. S P. Hmm. S P L A splat? Okay, A's in the right place now, but we only get one more try to do this. S P. Ah, uh, I don't know what this is. Okay. S P I A Wait a minute. Spray. S P R A Y. No. Ah, oh, what is this word? I wish we could get like a bonus letter or something. A T. Okay, okay. Speak. S P E A K. Okay, that's one word. Uh, another S word. Okay. Stops. Okay, T is right place. Um, state. S T A T E. No. S T stoop. O O P. No. S T. Um. I N T. Stink? S T I N K? No. Stem or something? I don't know. No. S T I uh, M. Still, okay. S T I L L. I'm very bad at this. Should we do two more or just one? Okay, starts with a C. Um, hmm. Mm, corpse. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, cross? No. Wait, what? C R O S S. No. C H O S. That's not a word. Um. Oh my goodness. Chips. Nope. S A O S. I don't even. I don't know. S H I S. P chips. Okay. Uh, caps. I don't know. C A T E. No. A H S. I mean, uh, crap. oh man, cause, um, okay, uh, milk, something, nope, miles, M-I-L-E-S, no, M-I, uh-oh, don't have much time left, M-I, goodness, C, no, M I Mindy No M I S S Oops M I P O L Midge something No M I G O M I G E T Oh man, might. Oh, we're not gonna figure this out. And that was hard. You know, when you watch this stuff on TV, the contestants make it look so easy, but it's not when you're actually trying to do it yourself. But uh, that was fun. Um. Well, that about that that will about I can't talk tonight. That will just about do it for tonight's episode. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Until then, this is Rob Corley signing out, signing out, saying good night, everybody. Thank you.